The reason I'm laughing at myself because I wash myself and I start cracking up profusely because I burped and um, well, I'll show you the footage. I wasn't going to show you the footage because I thought it was ridiculous, but maybe you need a laugh. You know, maybe you need to have a, maybe you need to have a cackle. So here it is. Oh. Uh. Ooh, that came up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe I should keep it easy. <laughs> I'm laughing. Okay. Y'all don't know. Maybe I should keep it. <laughs> I'm totally stupid. Okay. All right. So get ready for some good quality content. Ooh, <laughs> this is who I've become. Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a catch-up video. I don't know if this is going to be a good quality video, but I know it's going to be a bit of a crack up because I'm a mess trying to figure out this brand new camera. I did film some footage in 4K, and then when I tried to download it, my laptop did not have the ability or capability to hold or download that amount of file, I guess. Yeah. So I'm having a kind of a bit of a learning curve. And then at the same time, it's when the other camera crashed, I ended up having the, the, the wire broke. So I went and ordered a new wire and then I put it on this camera, the brand new one, brand new wire, thinking it's gonna fix it all. And apparently <laughs> everything I was recording was on silence. Silence. <laughs> so, I bought this for nothing but it's just gonna be I want to get real videos up so this is what we're gonna start with forgive me if I'm fumbling forgive me if it's kind of messy earlier when I was messing with the computer or the camera my lips were nice and crusty so we're just gonna just delight in the mess okay sometimes you just have to delight in messes and learn how to like fumble through them so this is what kind of video it's gonna be, and I apologize if it's not my regular good quality content. I don't know if I even consider my content good quality, but whatever, we're trying. So let's do this. So let's talk about some of the things I've been doing. I have been working on a couple clients' quilts, and on top of that, I have been working and helping Quilts of Valor here in Cibolo. Cibolo is where there used to be the Quilt Guild over there, but I left the Quilt Guild, and so the community over there was still great, so I started working for Quilts of Valor. A group of like 10, 15, 20 people, sewing them at different times. Different people do binding, different people do the quilting, and different people do the piecing. So this is a lot of people coming together for a good cause and I think that's what quilting is about. I love the group. I'm learning a lot about people kind of but it's been fun and so if you're local and you would love to come and help for Quilts of Valor it's the first Friday of every month. I think they start at six. I would love to have you come by and visit us. You don't go on that one cookie. I'm gonna put that on the long arm. Why? I have a bed here for you. Cookie. Oh, you're so cute. I'm gonna have to lint it. Pain in my butt. And then also too, I started my own quilting bee. I am calling it the Sweet Honey Bee. Um, I am doing this be the fir the third Friday of every month and I'm going to share with you the logo and I'm also going to share with you some of the things that happened in that event. Let me just get rid of this. <laughs> you don't need to see me twice, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> so in the Sweet Honey Bee that I am creating, it's I want to do sew days or sewing events. In the sewing events, we're gonna to try to have six a year, 
in the sewing events, you will sew a quilt and then whoever participates in sewing in that event, they could sponsor someone. And if you sponsor someone, someone in that community or in the community of sewers that they want to sponsor a brother, or son, it doesn't matter. You could sponsor a waitress, you could sponsor a teacher, you could sponsor your brother, it doesn't matter. As long as you participate, you could sponsor someone. We will donate that quilt. And so what is really neat about this event, I had a group of about 17 people that came and sewed. There was food provided. We did the quick curve ruler. Um, and we also did this beautiful pattern. I do have an old video of where I did a quilt with that pattern, but I think at the time I didn't know how to upload videos. I didn't know how to do anything. So you're welcome to see it. I will post it at the end of this video, but I think I want to redo the video and kind of redo with better quality, but you're welcome to see it. Um, I don't know if that was a good idea to do a quick curve ruler quilt top because it got kind of confusing in the end and when we put the quilt together it looked like it had chicken legs on the top row because we flipped some of the blocks and so it looked like you know so I had to go back once I got the quilt top and unstitch certain areas and reflip the blocks and also correct some blocks that were done wrong because it, it got confusing having 17 hands moving and putting the quilt together and flipping the pattern it is so easy to do when you're just working on one block it was even confusing when i was doing putting the quilt top together for myself when i undid certain areas um i can't it, it got confusing with 17 hands but what i loved about the sweet honeybee is these wonderful women were willing to help and willing to serve and willing to sew and they were excited and we had a really great time so i would love if you're local if you're around here to come and hang out with me at the sweet honeybee in at the grange in cibolo and it's the third friday of every month now what i wanted to do on alternating fridays it's we were going to start doing bom's blocks of the month and you will provide your own fabric i will provide a pattern and i will teach you how to create that pattern while we're there and then within six months you could do a table runner or if we do those blocks twice or three times or four times um, you could end up with a really nice size quilt block i will provide the pattern not necessarily the fabric but the tricks that I think work for me. Not that I'm a perfect sewer, but yeah. So we're also gonna have show and tell, trunk shows and stuff like that on those days, on the alternating days that we're not doing a sewing a quilt top. So it's just kind of been neat just doing that. You know, I love the guild that I was at. I just kind of um, got too involved with some of the politics that were involved in the guild but I love the guild. I love the community that can be created with these wonderful women. But what I loved is when I did my sewing event and that's where I found the greatest joy. So I felt that I can have the best of both worlds. And also too, this is my event. This is something that I'm running and I'm gonna have like four people helping me and giving me directives and stuff. But the politics and the mess are gonna be left out of it, I feel. Well, I'm gonna try. I just wanna have a great time. So this is the quilt that the group finished and this is um, the quilt, what it looks like quilted. What can I help you with? No! You're like, if I can't sit on you, I'm sitting on your quilt, huh? No, mama. You wish you could talk, right? <laughs>